Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, AI the Great. And today, I'm coming at you with another great video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My content is fragrances, fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Now let's get started. Now tune into the motherfucking greatest. Turn the music up and guys happy 2021 i haven't been in front of the camera to record in so long well it's only been two weeks but it feels like such a long time because i pre-record my videos and i needed that break for the holidays so now i'm back this is my first video release of 2021 and my first time actually recording a video in 2021 so i'm super excited and i'm happy about today's video guys today's video i want to bring to you a collection that i own from one of the most sexiest fragrance houses, in my opinion. <laughs> that company is none other than Bond Number no. 9. All the names of the fragrances in this company are based off of New York neighborhoods, and I absolutely love that. Now, as much as I love Bond Number no. 9, there's a butt. There's a big butt. <laughs> Guys, I have a love-hate relationship with Bond Number no. 9. The fragrances that I own, I absolutely love them. Love, 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 love them. But a lot of the fragrances to me, in my opinion, aren't worth the hefty price tag. And that's just the God's honest truth. The fragrances that I own, I feel like they are worth it. Some of them are extra day parfums. They last really long. The scents are different. They smell rich, they smell sexy, they smell exotic. Absolutely love them. But then there's other fragrances within a collection that are the same price range that do not perform the same. The scents not necessarily are blended to perfection like how I like my fragrances well blended and i just feel like they're not worth the hefty price tag but the ones in my collection i absolutely love so we're not going to go in any particular order but we're going to start with the silk creams guys the silk body creams from bond number no. nine if you don't own one you need to get one now guys so i'm going to do a separate video of my body creams so then you'll actually get to see the consistency of the creams Right now, because this video is mainly focused on the fragrances, I just want you to know that I own the Central Park West and the Chinatown. Super hydrating, super fragranced. They glide on, they're so silky. The expiration date is about two years. And a lot of luxury body creams, you gotta make sure guys that you look at the expiration date once they're open because a lot of them are six months. And to invest in a cream over $100, $150, sometimes over $200 for body creams, I'm gonna need you to last longer than six months. If you can last longer than a year, that's even better. So let's start with Perfumista Avenue. Guys, this is one of my favorite sexy man killer scents. It's fruity, it's warm, spicy, super long lasting. The scent is amazing, it's intoxicating. Guys, it is so good and it's an extra de parfum. So there's 30% of oil concentration in this fragrance. So we have plum, there's saffron, nutmeg, there's rose. Uh, rose water, peony, jasmine, amber, patchouli, and musk. This is one that if you can get your nose on it, get your nose on it, it smells so good. Like I said, it's super long lasting. This is a sexy date night. Men love this. It has the sweet plum. It is an amazing fragrance and it's warm spicy. This can be worn all year. So this is one that you can wear in the winter, spring, summer, and fall. If you wanted it to be a signature scent, this could be your signature scent as well. This is an amazing one, guys. Perfumista Avenue, bond number nine. Next up, Chinatown. Guys, pre-pandemic, Chinatown in New York, the neighborhood Chinatown in New York had so much energy. You can get some good dumplings, some pork buns, some noodles. I'm getting hungry just talking about Chinatown right now. Some good authentic Chinese food. Love Chinatown, just a sidebar. But Chinatown, the fragrance, this is a sweet, warm, spicy, white floor fragrance and it is amazing super long lasting guys you do not need to overspray this although i'm just telling you that i'm putting that disclaimer out for you guys but for me i overspray fragrances that most people typically would not overspray 
and i also layer with the chinatown silk body cream so i'm just smelling like bond chinatown and i absolutely love it so it's a floriento the notes are there's a bunch of notes in here guys i'm just gonna read you some of them there's peach blossom there's bergamot gardenia there's honey there's tuberose peony there's orange blossom patchouli cedar vanilla sandalwood cardamom and gayak wood guys this is a beautiful fragrance Now, don't let all these floral notes fool you because it is a floral fragrance, but it's not one of those floral fragrances that if I'm going to a brunch or a wedding or like a garden party and I want to just feel really pretty and girly, for something like that, I would wear, like I'd reach for something like a Delina. This is a floral fragrance, but this is a floral fragrance with some grit to it. This to me can be worn by a man if he can get over this beautiful pink, frilly floral bottle but this definitely can be worn by a man it doesn't lean masculine or feminine in my opinion it's beautiful the tuberose shines and the patchouli in there just adds that grittiness to it to take it up a notch so it's not just your regular sweet floral flirty type of um, fragrance this definitely has more grit and more depth and that's bond number nine chinatown so now we're going where the money reside, where the money reside, where the money reside. I'm pants, what the what? What the money reside, what the money reside, what the money reside, what the money reside, okay. <laughs> Guys, so this is a white floral, woody, powdery fragrance. And this is none other than Central Park West. And guys, in New York, Central Park West is definitely where the money resides, honey. So in this fragrance, we have Ylang Ylang, Narcissist, Pepper, Gardenia, Jasmine, Lime, Orris Root, Musk, Vetiver, Oak, and Oak Moss. And this is a spicy floral fragrance. To me, it's spicy, it's floral, it's long lasting. It's super long lasting, guys. This is another one that's super potent. It's a floral fragrance because this was released in the spring. I forgot what year, but it's a spring fragrance. But it's one of those spring fragrances that you can, if you wanted to wear this in the fall, you could because it has enough depth and power to it. It's a beautiful fragrance, guys. I absolutely love it. Bond number nine, Central Park West. Now we have this coffee, white floral, another warm, spicy fragrance new york nights guys this fragrance i don't even want to spray this right now because this fragrance makes me want to go out it's so good it's just a yummy gourmand guys oh guys this is so good so there's gardenia there's carnation jasmine there's sea notes there's patchouli sandalwood coffee and caramel Guys, when this dries down, first of all, this smells good from the opening until the dry down. Let me just put that out there. But the dry down, that coffee and caramel, this will make you want to eat your skin. Like, this is so good. It's another one that's super long lasting, super beast mode, beautiful scent trail. This leaves a beautiful sillage. You don't have to overspray this either, even though. I don't take my own advice because I do spray, like I said, until I can't tolerate it anymore. But this is so beautiful, guys. This for me is definitely a fall winter fragrance. I mean, we all know that you can wear whatever you want when you wear, when you want to wear it. But for me personally, I designate this fragrance for the fall and winter. I love to wear it with leather. I don't know what it is about the coffee and the caramel and like a leather jacket just mixed together. It's just so sexy. It's so sexy, guys. If you love gourmand fragrances, you need to try this. Try this, guys. Bond number nine, New York Nights. Now we have Greenwich Village. And Greenwich Village, guys, now we're entering into the artsy, bohemian, chic area in New York. It's beautiful down there. Another place that had a lot of energy, cafes and bars, you know, back in the day, but we will get there sometime in the future. And for me, this fragrance reminds me of that because this fragrance is so fruity and floral and fresh. It just, I feel like this is a perfect match for Greenwich Village, knowing what Greenwich Village is in New York. So the notes are lychee, cassis, mandarin orange, peony, water lily, jasmine, and broxen 
praline, musk, vanilla, and oak moss. Guys, this is so beautiful. Newer to my collection, I received this maybe about two months ago. And it's so good. Now, let me say this. It does have, when you initially smell it, it would put you in the mind of Baccarat Rouge by 40. But in no way, no shape, no form, is it a dupe? Is it a clone? Nothing like that. It just has similar notes. So it just has like kind of like that same vibe. But this is way sweeter, way fruitier, more floral. It's even fresh. This is a beautiful, beautiful one. And I can't wait to wear this in the spring, summer. But guys, when I tell you, I've been wearing this. Like when I get a new fragrance, I like to test it out even though it's been like dead of winter here. But the scent trail that this leaves, guys, this leaves the beautiful scent trail. I don't know what it is, but I've been getting compliments on this fragrance. I can see that this will be a definite repurchase for me. Bar number nine, Greenwich Village. Now we have signature scent, guys. I love all my Bond fragrances, but I have to say that if I had to choose a favorite Bond fragrance, it would be Signature Scent. Guys, this is the cross between the Middle East meets New York, Dubai in particular. Dubai meets New York. Guys, if you're new to this channel, let me put the disclaimer out. I am obsessed with Dubai. I've been there three times in my life and I've gotten completely turned out. I'm turned out. I'm not afraid to admit it. It is what it is. I love Dubai. And I cannot wait until it's safe again to go to Dubai. And we're planning, hopefully, by the grace of God, this year, Dubai will see me again. And I will see Dubai and we'll be reunited. Guys, so anyway. So this fragrance is across, like I said, between Dubai and New York. So it's a powdery, musky floral. The notes are oud, so it opens up with oud. But guys, if you're afraid of oud, it's not a super loud, heavy, dirty kind of oud. This is a really smooth oud, and it's in the opening. So there's oud, rose, tonka beans, and musk. Guys, this fragrance right here. If I had to say what was my most complimented Bond fragrance to date, it would be this fragrance here. And that's probably because I wear it the most out of all of them. Guys, this is long lasting. It's 30% oil concentration, so it's an extra day parfum. It is beautiful. Guys, this is, you can wear this all year round, all seasons. You can wear this on a sexy date night. You can wear this in the daytime. Definitely compliment getting, beautiful scent trail. <sighs> Bond number nine, signature scent. So there we have it guys, my small but growing Bond collection. And I have another fragrance that I wanna purchase, not any in particular, but I do want another Bond fragrance for the spring and summer, but I want that bottle to have Swarovski crystals. My next Bond fragrance is gonna have crystals because every time I want the fragrances with crystals, they're sold out or they're, you know, I just don't, or well, they may have crystals, but I don't want that scent. So I'm definitely gonna get one with crystals and that may be my last Bond fragrance for the year because I have six, you know, I will have seven and I wanna be able to get through them because I love these fragrances. I absolutely love the ones that I own. Like I said, with Bond, mm, it's a love and a hate because some of them, Bond is a niche brand, but it's a niche brand to me that's like a commercial niche, you know? So I feel like some of the fragrances that they have smell like a lot of fragrances that are already on the market or they're not really blended that well or they're just not worth the price tag because they don't last. But these, I'm telling you guys, these last, the projection, the CRs, the longevity, everything is A1 for me with these fragrances here. So leave it in the comments below. Let me know what Bond fragrances you own and which ones should I try out. Let me know guys, because like I said, I have one more Bond to get for the year, maybe particularly spring, summer. I definitely want another spring, summer one, but I want that bottle to have crystal. So let me know which one I should be sniffing. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. Yeah, the great signing out, but I'll see you on my next video. Peace.